So, oh, this is the second. Second one. So number two. This is problem number two. Um, so it's pretty simple. We're gonna find A and B. Um, by the way, this is where they said they didn't use arc, sine, arc, cosine. Okay, because we're about to use it. <laughs> and you couldn't have done your test if you didn't use it. So, yeah, you, you were expecting it. Because you didn't teach it. I know. I know. All right, so the one thing we want to learn here is we need to know all three sides. You could do uh, a, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? But it's not, it's easier than that. Think about this. Does, does uh, 3 go into 6? How many times? Twice, right? 3 times 2. And this is 2 times 4, right? So 3, 4, 5 times 2 triangle, right? So what is 5 times 2? 10. So we know this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle multiplied twice or dilated to just made bigger. Okay? So 3, 4, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 5. <laughs> Simple. If we would have done the math, we would have said uh, 6 squared plus 8 squared is 100. Square root of this 10. Blah, blah, blah. Moving on. Now we have all the sides, right? From the sides, I'm going to do so katoa. Okay? Now here's the thing. If I want to find angle A, right, then I want to take, what do I want? I could take the opposite over the adjacent, right? So that would be opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of A is equal to 8 over 6, right? So all I have to do to find the angle is I take the arc tangent of 8 over 6, and that's angle A. Now this A has nothing to do with this A, because if this were theta, it would be arc, the angle theta. This means arc tangent, okay? Another way of saying this would be tangent inverse of 8 over 6 is equal to the angle A. So it all, it's all depends on what your calculator has on it. So with this calculator, it probably has the inverse, right? Yeah. So this is the one we'll be using because that's what's on your calculator. Right? And so all I have to do is punch in. So I'll show you. I punch in second and then tangent. Where's tangent? Tangent. And it comes up tangent inverse of 8 divided by 6 and hit equals. Comes up with 53.13 degrees. And then later in pre count, you could tell me how many minutes and how many seconds. Right? But we didn't make you do that in uh, Algebra 2. Okay? Now, um, we figure out B. But I don't need to do this to figure out B. Because I can take this away from 90. Right? Because these are, have to be 180 degrees. Well, this is 90 degrees. 90 from 180 is 90. So these two have to add up to be 90. They have to be complementary. So we use our, yeah. So we use our, our rules. We know that angle B is equal to 90 minus 50. 53.13 and so we just say minus 90 and we get 36.87 okay and that's angle B yeah it's that simple done so Katoa